Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be sharing with you the contents from the chemistry kit that goes along with the elemental science slash CK12 high school level chemistry. Um, this kit is put together by the home scientists and you can order it directly from their website. Of course, I'll put links um, in the description box. Um, I think this is about $117 before shipping. Um, so this is the first paper that comes in the box. It's a uh, safety... Um, thing. Then it comes with the kit contents. So you can see and um, my daughter has already opened this and looked through it a little bit. So that's why it's um, not quite flat. So you've got safety goggles. And then you have these items in here. Very helpful. Uh, then let's see what we've got in here. If I'm able to get this open. I don't want to just like cut it because then it will be more difficult to contain. Okay. So in here it looks like um, there's a bunch of chemicals. So sodium hydroxide it looks like um, and just other things in what looks like a... Um, absorbent material. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there. Now we'll retie that in a second. And then in here we've got more uh, chemicals. We've got the bromethal blue and uh, barium nitrate. All of that in a separate container. And normally I would open this up, but it just looks like it's going to be increasingly difficult to put back in. Um, then you have your measuring cups. We have test tubes. Uh, this is a tray for test tubes, I'm assuming. Uh, and then here you have a um, larger test tube, probably for putting mixtures into. I don't know what the technical terms are for these, obviously. Uh, and then here you have um, a brush for cleaning. Oh, here's what it says. Um, graduated cylinder, pipettes, ruler, test tube brush, test tube clamp. And then this is, I believe, a stand for, or possibly for putting liquid in. I'm not sure what this is called. And this is another uh, larger version of that. And then in here we have chromatography paper, pH test paper, cobalt chloride test paper, and iron wool. So we'll put those things back in. And then I will show you. Um, so one thing that I was surprised didn't come in here is the actual labs themselves. So you order this from the home scientist and um, it doesn't come with any instructions. It only has these materials. So um, the actual labs themselves you can find it pretty easily on their website. I will include the link to that. Um, but I went ahead and I printed the uh, course outline. So this tells you what the different topics are called. Uh, and this is also on the Home Scientist website. And so I printed this out just to have for reference and for an overview. Um, and the other place that you can find the number of the labs is in the lesson plan. This is uh, the printable version of the lesson plans, or not printable, the printed version, you can get on Amazon through Elemental Science, uh, and each um, over each weekly overview tells you um, which lab to do. So uh, here you go, hands-on assignment, and oh, this is the lab on page 35. So see, it says page 35 of the Home Scientist Chemistry Lab Manual. So that is what I was talking about is not included in this kit and you have to get it separately. It is free. I think it's 280 something pages. So I downloaded the PDF and then I went ahead and sent it to a printer for, and it's costing, it's going to cost $13 to print, which I feel like is not bad. Um, just so that my daughter can have the actual printed lab manual uh, when she's doing these labs. And the other thing I wanted to say is if you aren't interested in doing um, these things yourself or having your child do them, there is a free 
lab demonstration channel on YouTube. I believe it's called Beyond Labs. And there are links, um, I think, on the Elemental Science page overview. I'm not sure where they are, but uh, you can watch the demonstration. So you don't have to do the actual labs yourself. But uh, for us, I feel that it's important to actually do these labs. And so that's why we went ahead and ordered um, this kit. And so uh, we're planning to get the lab done soon, probably after the lab manual comes. And I will try and post an update and let you guys know how that's going. But in any case, I just wanted to pop on here and share, um, you know, what we've been up to kind of. And this is our latest thing is we just got this lab kit in. And I uh, hope to get to talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.